Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we're going to be looking back at matplotlib, and we're going to be unpacking a lot of stuff here today. So all right, we're going to be looking more with twin axes, uh, we're going to have two different types of plots, we're going to mess around with some legend control, the box to anchor, and we're also going to learn how to set up our script to handle some, uh, for some data control. So all right, let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So here we are. Uh, when I was getting comfortable with matplotlib, um, I wanted to see how fancy I could get. So what this is right here is this is an example of some budgets and some costs and then tracking and graphing. So let's just go ahead and get to it. So budget of $6,000 of overtime uh, per year. It ends up being 500 a month. So here's our baseline for this. And we know how to do a baseline graph. It is down here. And I'll have all, these, all this right here in the description uh, down below. So we have our, uh, there's our baseline. Then here are our plots for our percents, and then there is our bar chart. So okay, so as I was going through, I was like, okay, I'm under budget, I'm over budget, but where does that put me in proportion to the annual budget? Am I behind? Am I? So I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'm pretty close right here. So that's actually what this is right here, the green is our baseline percent throughout the year. So I was off a little bit. I thought I timed it right. But this right here is our percents per month, getting us all the way through to 100%. And on Sunday, we will talk about this NumPy function, how this came to be. So all right, that's a little foreshadowing. So all right, then the red line is our actual percent throughout the year. So as you can see, most of the year I was over budget and then I brought it in at the end and came in under budget. And also another foreshadowing, there's actually a way to put one other or as many as you need axes out here off to the side. And we're gonna do that for our total cost. So that's a little bit there. So all right, let's, let's get through now. When you're messing with two different axes, you need to flip over to your fig and your subplots. So that this is another example of why you want to unpack your uh, subplots. So, okay, so there is our legend control with our box anchor. So this defaults to up here in the corner. Let's go ahead and Cut this out, rerun it. Oh, let's close this out. I can't remember if it throws an error or not. So let's rerun this. And it defaults actually when you use the figure to outside here. So let's put this back, paste, rerun it. So, okay, we've talked about our box to anchor control. We did that. And we've talked about, so, and also we have. Two different styles. Uh, we, we have a we have a line plot and we have a bar plot. So now, when we've messed with, especially bins and um, for our ticks and our and things like that, our our labels, um, they 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 have to be in unison. So now after. After the fact, this works great. But what happens if you're tracking this during the year? So I want to actually show you, and you'll see that this is redundant. There is a way. Let's just run this, close this out. Of course, one, one month isn't going to be too tricky. We got January. And then now let's do our second month of actual cost 
Aha! And then third month. So you can actually build this. And I want to show you how we did it. So we have some data control here. So all right, this is where, this is my master. So I have done, e built everything upon here based upon that length. All right. So we have length of OT, length of OT, and length of OT. So everything stays in unison built upon this contingent. And I just wanted to show you, whoops, I did not copy this. So here we are, copy, paste, and run again. So there we are. And to foreshadowing next on Sunday, we'll talk about this right here. And next matplotlib, we're going to put a secondary twin axes off here to the side for our total. So there we go, guys. Please drop any comments, questions, or any video requests below. I absolutely love them, um, and it really helps the channel, and it helps other people who are watching. Because if you have that question, you're not the only one that has that question. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.